Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Saturday, so yay weekend. Uh, today we're going to this Australian pie shop bakery thing. It's called Tar Pies and it's uh, like 30, 40 minutes, no, I think it's like 50 minutes actually on uh, the subway and walking and all that stuff factored in. But it looks really good and according to this review, uh, Hugh Jackman went there and he said it was really good. So it's got his a seal of approval, so I'm excited to try that. It's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. I haven't had a pie in a while. And they what? also sell really expensive uh, snacks and things like like Tim Tams and... And... <laughs> what do I mean to say? <laughs> Vegemite. Oh, Vegemite. I don't know you pointed at me and I didn't know what you wanted me to say. Also, it started snowing a few days ago, so... Now the city is all covered in snow and I get to finally wear my snow boots. Firstly we gotta figure out how to ride the subway. We need an Opus card. E charge for purchase of new Opus. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh god. Huh? Uh next page. It's not a touch screen. <laughs> it's just more confusing than I thought it would be. There we go, types of cards. Rechargeable card or um It's not in English either. Okay guys, we figured it out. We get to go to a different machine and yeah, it's it's very confusing because nothing is in English. But yeah, like the dodgiest subway station ever elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> is that a card? Oops. Opus. Here we are at Tar Pies. Look at all the Australianness. You excited? Yes, it's like being back home. Where it's a balmy minus five at the start of December. Here we go. I got the um, the curried vegetables and sweet potato. Keith has the classic beef and a sausage roll to split. The sauce, tomato sauce bottle. <laughs> it's like a little bit of tomato. It doesn't seem to be working very well. Mm. This place is so like cute and covered in Christmas decorations and they've got all these things from back home like Vegemite and all these lollies and Tim Tams and you're trying it. Mm, it's really good. Is it? Mm. Okay. They also sell um, frozen pies back there. We picked up some fun little goodies. Show you guys later. Oh yeah. We're done with the pie place. What do you think of it? It was a really good pie actually. Probably better than some of them you get back home. Yeah, it was really good. I liked it. The benefit is they can't buy frozen stuff here, so everything has to be homemade. And yeah. I think the sausage roll was one of the best ones I've ever had. Yeah, it was so good. It was really um like the meat in that was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like I said, we picked up some little goodies, which we'll show you when we get back to the place because Hard to vlog here. There's Christmas trees for sale. Okay, show them what we got. Okay, um, trying to figure out what bag to start with. A little one. In here, I'm gonna put that one in there because that one doesn't count as these things. They sell these individually. We're gonna get a pack, but I don't know. Thought I'd get them individually. Um, I should start off by saying these are some of our Australian snacks and stuff. This guy is called a Monte Carlo. It's just a biscuit with cream and jam, I guess. No, or is it like a raspberry cream, strawberry cream? Yeah. I don't know. It's a filling. Tim Tam. Everyone knows what a Tim Tam is. Mmm. My favorite mint slice. Should have not bit the Tim Tam, but I was doing that because it's all about the mint slice to show it off. Mm -hmm. It's a biscuit with like mint flavouring, chocolate and mint. And then here are some lollies. Um, the most expensive caramello koala I've ever bought it was like $2.50 for a caramello koala. That cost you like a dollar back home. Oh, a red skin. Um, it's incredibly offensive. But, um, 
It's some, like a raspberry lolly. Is it licorice, technically? I wouldn't call it licorice at all. It's a raspberry type lolly. I don't like them, I hate them, but Sally likes them. She used to eat them with the paper on. That makes sense because it gets stuck to the paper. Yeah, that was the thing we did at school. Mm. Yeah, I don't really like them. They look like that though. This is the, oh man, I forgot what they're called. Pineapple lumps. That's what you call them. Oh, they're a tough one too. They're a little bit softer than that. It's got pineapple in the middle. You said you haven't had one before, right? No. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Hmm. They're normally softer, I think. I haven't had one in years, though. Alright. What else do we have? Milk bottles. They're just lollies, but they're like milk flavoured lollies in the shape of a milk bottle. I swear they used to look more like milk bottles when I was a kid, but I don't know. Minties. They're just mm. chewy mint things. I don't know if anyone. Most people back in the room. Back Stop moving room things about. around. It's all blurry. Sorry. Fantail. Which is like a chewy caramel lolly. Yeah, it tells you fun facts on it. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, you have to guess the thing. No, we'll do it later. Fine. Don't look at it. Kill a python. It's like a lolly snake. Didn't they used to be bigger? Yeah, they used to be huge. They used to be like that big. Okay, not that big, but they used to be thin. I thought they were 30 centimeters. Yeah, that's not 30 centimeters at all. No. They used to be bigger than that. I don't know. That was a dollar. <laughs> so not Rip worth it. Off. Oh, strawberries and cream. It's like a strawberry flavored lolly with like cream flavored lolly. They're good. And um, strawberries and cream. Oh, she gave us extras of these as well. Oh, really? Of um, Jaffa's. Mm. We're, only, we're only with one each, but these are like chalk orange flavored lolly things. Like, probably like an M&M, but chalk orange, but harder as well on the outside. Jersey caramel, caramel type lolly thing. Licorice all sort. Looks like a Jersey caramel. This is like licorice with like, I don't know, lollies in it. These are like old people lollies though. Yeah, I think my great gross. grandma. My great grandma used to have them all the time. I used to get them off her. And my favorites. Sally hates these. Teeth. speaking bit with the men. Okay. And the last one we got is the most expensive thing that we bought there. Vegemite. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so I just with the <laughs> I think most people know what Vegemite is or have heard of Vegemite. For those who haven't, it's yeast extract. Sounds absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. Look at it. Mm. Dark goodness. Oh, I've never Vegemite in ages. Suitable for vegetarians, and it contains folic acid. And it should be a high source of vit B vitamins. This is now a cooking show, cooking with Keith. Keith's kitchen. Yeah, Keith's kitchen. Margarine looks so bad. I've got margarine, not butter. It's way better with butter, but we have margarine. I put inhuman amount of yeah, margarine. It's a lot, a lot well, normally I use butter and I use tons of butter because I love butter. Sally hates the way I spread toast. I covered most of it this time. I always leave the corners. Yeah, he doesn't. He he does only like this middle bit. 
It leaves like a centimetre and a half of So you can hold it. Of bread. That's what the crust is for. And this part of Vegemite's the best. This is the top part. For people who don't normally have Vegemite, I recommend that much. But I eat a lot of Vegemite back home, so I might have that much. If you've never had Vegemite before, do not use as much as I just used. My Vegemite tolerance is a lot higher. That's probably more than what I normally use, actually. But my Vegemite tolerance is way higher. Look at this terrible spreading. It's Vegemite, it doesn't need that good. Um. Mmm. Us Australians go weak if we don't have this every now and then. Mmm. Oh, gross. Mmm. Mmm. Who am I? This is on the Fantel packet. Born in Sydney in 1983, she was raised in the Australian rural town of Canada but moved to Brisbane for her schooling. Her modelling career took off after winning a Dolly magazine competition at age 13 in 1997. She has since appeared in many Australian fashion campaigns. In 2006, she re relocated to the United States where she signed a lucrative cosmetic contract with Maybelline. She was the first Australian Victoria's Secret model and currently lives in New York with her Yorkshire Terrier called Frankie. She and, Orlando, she and actor Orlando Bloom have a son together named Flynn. <laughs> so easy. Hmm? This is so easy. Who is, who is it? It's Miranda Kerr. Yeah. <laughs> I got that from... From the, her modelling career. Modelling career, 1983. Couldn't be anyone else. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to spend the rest of our day snacking on these lolly... This is really stale. It's really hard. It's meant to be all chewy and soft. But yeah, we're going to be snacking on these all day. Um, yeah, and that's going to be the end of our vlog because there should be enough footage for a vlog. But, so yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.